Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for coming back to my channel and choosing my video to solve the problem. So today we'll try to solve the lead code problem 1603 easy, which is design parking system. So here we are given, what we have to do is we are given an input, which is a, a array of string which says parking system, add car, add car, add car and add car. So uh, we have given an array of in this will be our first input like which says 1 1 and 0 and then this would be the cars so this is a parking system and which describes like 1 1 0 and these are all the cars which we want to add 1 2 3 so what does the question says so it says that we have to implement this parking system class okay we're gonna implement it here and what we have to do is we are given three integer big medium small so big medium small are the parking space for the car so this is a big car uh, this would be place for the medium and this would be place for a small so what we have to do we have to uh, basically we have uh, we have to add these cars and then we have to see how many spaces are available so let's see so what just see this thing right so this one would be a big car so you see is there a space for a big car yes there is one space so if we can put this space here so if if we can put this here then we have to return a boolean call true then second so this would be a medium car do we have space at this space uh second which is a medium space yes we have one so it's gonna return true then you'd see this is this is a small car so big medium and small do we have a suppose space for a small car if this index you can see zero so no space so we're gonna return false then do we have space for one what is one one is again a big car do we have space for one and where does big car goes here so it's one here in the beginning but you remember we used this space to keep this car so now this went to zero so we don't have a space so this is gonna go false I will show you how it's gonna work actually let me remove all of these things actually okay um, okay so I'll show you what so see so we have this thing come see yeah and what is first first time when we go through it right first time when we go through it what happens is we see okay so these are the cars imagine yeah and here one equals big right two equals medium and three equals small right so what we trying to achieve here i'll just comment here so what we trying to achieve here so they are seeing that okay first time first time when we put first car here now what is this one one zero right i'll write this here as well. so this one one and zero these are space for big big space medium space and small space right so what we are saying okay we are saying okay at first time this is one so if this one can you put this big car in big space yes you can keep so you return to you then can you keep this medium car in medium space so medium space yes you can you have one medium space so this is gonna return a true boolean so can you keep a small car which is three here no you cannot because it's zero it says zero space so it should return false i'm just saying you what it should return right then it has one more car one which is big car it says can you put a big car again so big car initially had one space but we use this one space to keep this car so it says okay now i don't have a space because you already used it so it should return false as well this is what we want see output this one and now we are just returning it because when we're gonna use class so it uh, it returns here because they are using a constructor i guess initializing so but you don't worry about that uh, we'll get our result through this so this was the comments i just wrote it down and if you want you can try it from here 
but I'll go on from here. So what we'll do is I'll try to create a class so we can get idea here. So they are, we have, they've already given us param number, three number, big, medium, small, and they've given us a card type variable, which is of type number and it returns a boolean. So what we do, we create a class. So what was the name in the beginning? It was parking system, right? So you create a class called parking system. And now in this class, what we want is we want a constructor because we want to initialize this data, this one, this add car, add car, add car, how many times you want to add. So we initialize a constructor and what do we want in it? We want big, medium and a small car. Yeah. So a big, medium and a small car. Cool. Now what do we want? So we want to now, uh, like we want to implement this. So we want to basically initialize this. So to initialize it, we're going to use this construction. And what we're going to do, we're going to say this dot big equals to big, the value. So we want to equal that big value to the current value of that big. So we're just initializing it. We're going to do same for this dot medium equals to medium. And this dot small equals to small cool and after this construction we constructor we're gonna make use this method called add car and in this method what we're gonna do we're gonna keep an argument and what's the argument a car type see they have given us an argument here car type so i'm gonna put this argument here car type Car type is a number. So this is this all the car. These are the car types one, two, three, one. And these are all the spaces this dot big. So we want to make changes to this thing, right? Uh, you will, it will make more sense uh, when I'll type. So now what we want, we want to see what you want. You want to now see what we were trying to do here. We were checking if this space is available, then um, we want to see, okay, it's available. Then you return true. If it's not, then you return false. So basically we want to check. So what we can do, we can use the if condition. So I'll use the if condition and I will say that, see if the, if car type, what is car type? Car type is these things. This one, two, three, one. Big, medium, small, big. So I want to say if this big car, basically if car type, I want to say if car type equals one. So we use three equals if you want to compare the values directly if you want to see if it's equal to this. So if car type equals one, then you would say this dot big here, you have got the factor, like you have got hold of this, this dot big, because you're putting big value inside this. So you will say this dot big, and you want it to uh, make it like this dot big minus one. So we will just use the syntax, this dot big minus minus. Now we'll just, after this, you want to return as well, right? True or false. So then what you will do, you will say return this dot big. So, you know, here it says, uh, it returns a Boolean. So that's how it's going to, so we're going to say this return this dot big, which will be true or false only if it's greater than equal to zero. So why only if it's greater than equal to zero, it means that it had an available car space and we used it. So see here it was one. When we used it, it becomes zero and it's true. But this one, if it's uh, this one, so this became zero. And next time when we said, okay, go and use this car space again, the one we want to put here, it was already zero. So then we don't want it to say true. So what we can say only put if it's greater than or equal to zero. So we'll say return this dot big if it's greater than or equal to zero. Otherwise don't return it. So we can put one more condition for other car. So we'll say else if car type equals to two. Two is what? It's a medium car. If car type equals a medium car, then what you do? Then you put this dot medium minus minus and same you return after, after making it one less, like after removing that parking space, we want to make this medium. We want to return this only if it's greater than or equal to zero same it's going to be same for all of those and then add you can write again the else if condition but i wouldn't write it because it's the last condition so you can just use the else and you will write this dot small 
like if car type equals to three or just else, then just do this dot small minus minus. Basically, you want to remove again that last one space from it, and then and then what you do is we'll just return this dot. What is this one? This one is small. So this dot small small only return if it's greater than equal to zero. Easy, right? So now we have got all these things, and now see what's gonna happen. So what's gonna happen is in the beginning it was one. It says okay, is it equals to one? Yeah, it's equal to one. Then it says okay, then make it zero. So here this thing one one zero. You know this one one zero. I'll just write it down for you here. You know this one one zero. That space it became here zero. It became here zero one zero. Right in first time. And we already passed this variable. Now second, it says if car time equals two, then it said um, if car type equals two, then it says okay, this dot medium minus minus. And do we have the space? At yeah, we have a space one. So then it says okay, then you do this one zero as well. And this is already zero. Then what happened? Third time it says here three, which is a small car. So small car space is this one. Right, this one. It says, okay, is there a space here? No, there is no space. Then it says, okay, then you cannot put the car there. So in that case, we cannot return. So when if it's true, then we return true. But otherwise, we return false. And how do we return this card? We already return a boolean from here. So that's why you don't need to really write it. So that's how it's gonna work. And same, it goes last digit, which is one, the big car. It goes again and it says, okay, if car type equals one, which is, then it says, okay, make it minus minus. So this space here, this time becomes minus one, right? And it says, okay, return true only if it's greater than equal to zero. But minus one, is it greater than equal to zero? No, it's not. It's not. So then it's gonna return a false. That's why you got a false here at the end. And you got a false here at the end because there is no space for a third car, which was also zero. If you see, I hope you understood it. And if I try to run the solution, it should work. Let's see. No, it didn't. It means we wrote somewhere. What did we wrote? Yeah, this thing we're gonna comment it out. I just write. For explanation, so yeah, now it should work, yeah, and we're gonna test it as well for different use cases and test cases. Say it worked, we got a good solution, running solution, and I hope you understand. Uh, and if you didn't understand, then comment in the videos. Maybe I can try to explain you again or make a detailed video on it. But thanks everyone for coming to my video, and uh, yeah, and subscribe my channel if you like how I make the videos, and if I can help, if I help you in any way. Just subscribe my videos, like my videos, share it, comment. Uh, it helps me to make more videos. Thank you so much.